Mike Lash will be the main referee at hand and Mike Jones, Pete Bender, Andrew Hose to help him and they will obviously have the help of the third match officials as we are about to kick off here at York Line Stadium. Sam Malcolm will have the opening kick. Launches deep and we are underway here in the first half. And that's a great take by All Glory DC. And we see Brian, they're jostling a bit for position there in the midfield. Yeah, just trying to set up their lines, get a little bit of structure. Mackenzie will be delighted. He's had a few touches. And there's a great break. Gaston Mirez finds the green. And there's Wayla Tufanga. Takes it all the way. Try to arm arrows here a minute into the game. And the Toronto fans are loving it. And that is Denon Robinson Bale with the first five points for the Arrows. Clean pass from McKenzie, but a little look right there by Melka. Mirez comes through. He knew he didn't have the gas to get there, but certainly Robinson Bartlett did. Absolutely, and it was just a clean progression of phases. You saw Sam Malcolm with a crease step to break and find that offload to Gaston Mirez. And Mirez shows the team rugby as he's not afraid to give off the offload to Denon. And here, Old Glory DC has a chance to make maybe something out of this set piece play. The mall crashes down, but Old Glory DC keeps form. And it's try time! As the men from the American capital add five points in response to the arrows. And taking a look at that fly half battle for both teams, you've got Rowan Tifola, one of the most dynamic fly halves, and Ronan Foley right off the kick to make the most of it. And there's a flanker who's done absolutely well this season. And as opportunistic as Foley was, and I love Rowan Foley down, what a response to that DC try. That is just shocking on their part on the restart. Foley, the opportunistic... Uh, back rower he is that's the easiest try he's probably scored in his career and that's a forwards delight once you start seeing the defender struggling to put a name onto that ball you just rush at speed to try and put a name on it yourself and he does exactly that setting up Sam Malcolm for the easy two points as the arrows now extend their lead to 14 Jamie calling it as he sees it Tyler Rowland takes one in for his first big touch of the game Malcolm exits the ball out to Denon, and it's an interception as number 14, Penny Lasaka, is making the arrows pay. Over the line and planted for the five points. As Old Glory DC steals one. Big kick, and this one goes right through the middle as it's 14-14. Sorry, 12-14. For a lineup, they've got some great lineup players there. Thomas De La Vega, as he goes up, brings it down, and the arrows charge. More leg after leg, try time as the arrows score. And it's Paul Tiolini, the 50th man appearance. 50 appearances, and way to mark that off with five points here. Quietly goes about his business every week. He's not flashy, but he shows up to play. He's rewarded with that. That's just great. And there you see a forward who does his job well, just tucks his head in and knows to drive those legs, power himself through. And not the deepest of kicks, but Sam Malcolm will put it away for two points. And we have a hydration break. You've got a man who's fighting for the team. All Glory DC back to the ways of phasing the ball. And there's a break through the line once again. Corey Daniel. Great pop pass. But unfortunately, DC can't capitalize. They'll have another chance here. Diving from the corner. Try giving. And that's Junior Sao increasing his already seven total tries in the league here. Playing a terrific game. Uh, 27 minutes in, I think he's uh, uh, his service has been uh, excellent and his experience is uh, second to none. And there you see Old Glory DC capitalizing on the defensive mistakes of the Arrows. Troy time! Number four, Taivita Nakale does well. Adds the support runner for Danny Tusitala. 
asked about them for younger players, and I think uh, it's a wise thing to wear one. Now, obviously, it can't protect you from All right. have to defend. A possible leading opportunity for the Arrows. Line out in to no one. Once again, second time we've seen the Arrows do this. Two there, guys. First from white, then blue. Half time. Knock on by both teams, and it's half time here. And to kick off, Old Glory DC sends it deep. Good. And there it is, Della Vega takes it well. One of the best line-out men in the MLR. Moore pushes forward. And there you see Dutroy joining the Moore, pushing. Okay, get ready, get ready. You can hear the Arrows fans whistling and asking for the heave. There's Paul Cialini once again, close to the Troy, and he's over. Second try of the day for the 50-man. Try time, Arrows. And the Italian stallion, Paul Giolini, will eat that all up. Time. But when they get a chance to do it like that, joining into a driving mall, and they would nudge DC Glory over, and the Arrows are back in business with a two-point lead conversion to follow. Right at the second hash. Punches it straight through for two points. Right off way to Tufanga. Keeps the ball, stays in. To Sitala, to the forwards, Felix Kalapu. Takes it right on. Play on. Kalapu isn't held up, so he'll take it up. Great toe tap. Try given, but you have to wonder if there's maybe a bit of... There's no tackle, he's been ankle tapped. Play on, play, play on, good. To Sitala. To the forwards. Great pop by Escaro. Saifola goes with the inside option. Penny Lasaka finds to Sitala. And it's a try under the posts for five more points. And Danny to Sitala gives the dab and spikes the ball with his thumb. For the arrows, Ross Brody being one of them. As Brian mentioned, that we've seen a lot of injuries at the number nine position. Hence, well clear. Jamie McKenzie coming in, Sam Reimer, Riley Donato. And they've also got injuries in the back line, such as Mitch Richardson. Let's go, play up. DC counter attacking well now. Tenana has a bit of space, chips it to himself, takes it himself, and shows off the fancy footwork to put up another five points for the men from the capital. And number one. Jack Cascaro, he's on the touchline, but he's imitating. To Sitala, comes from a position of offside, but hasn't been called yet. Allowed to run with it. Get, 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 get. Robert Iremescu finally brought down. Felix Kalapu pops it off to Saifola. Inside pop pass, and there's the man, William Tainana, for another. Bro, they continue to build. And I think the playoff races are going to be very, very strong games. It's going to be interesting to see if New England can bounce back. That Giltini's team, very solid. And Ray Wright interrupts both Brian and I for the last try of the season. And the Arrows will be happy to finish on a high. And the man with the Red Sox puts up five points on the board. A season, there he goes, just doesn't look back. Knows that it might be his last play for this season and makes the most of it. No quit the arrows, play for 80 minutes, a lot of hugs out there. Marcello Wainwright can't help but smile. And that will be game as both teams start shaking hands. The final score 33 to 50 as Old Glory DC, the team on the road, takes the win. Quite the enthrilling season. Yeah. Hurry up. We're soon. Heaps time, mate. I'm not tasting it. And Will Kelly.